Shalom and welcome to Crosstalk. I'm Josh Weiss. And I'm Elijah Weiss. And we are here to continue the series where we're talking about Today with God. If you happen to be with us last week, you noticed that we were in India interviewing a very precious brother, Alfred Allen. But we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's jump right in. I want to invite you with us to India to continue our conversation with Alfred Allen, who's been translating the Today with God project. We've been working with Alfred for the last couple of years as we've been developing and translating and building this Today with God project into the top 11 languages of the nation of India. It's something that is allowing us to be at the point in time where the vision that started this project 20 years ago can now start to be seen. The fruit of that labor is able to be, the, the, the fields are so ripe for the harvest. And so today, I'm excited to bring you back to India and introduce you again to Alfred Allen. Alfred, Hi, Josh. For such, such a, joy. a Oh no, the joy is mine. I've been uh, so excited to be able to spend some time with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanna say thank you on behalf of my father and our entire ministry. Thank you for the work that you're doing to help reach the people of India. Thank you, Josh. All I can say is Jai Masiki, which means in Hindi, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Jai Masiki. Jai Masiki. Jai Masiki. Yes. There we go. <laughs> I've learned something new. I like oh, that. Wonderful. So, Alfred, um, we've talked, obviously, a lot off camera. Mm -hmm. um, I know you have a deep passion for reaching people here in India. You've talked about the fact that India has almost a billion people mm -hmm. and only, what, 3%? About four. About, about four percent yeah. are followers of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. There's such a harvest here, mm. and people people need the Lord. Yes. You've also talked about literacy mm. and elderly, and the need for getting content to people right. in dramatic, visual, audio, technological approaches mm. to reach people. Yes. Maybe you can recap some of that. Yes, because our society, the India, in India, people love stories. They love drama, and that's why our, our soaps and our serials never end. They go on and on and on. We weep, we cry. Even the, peop, the person who pulls the rickshaw and, and the laborer or the rich man, they all love movies, they love stories. And the best stories, the very best stories are the parables. And, and, the, and the greatest story is the greatest love story in the Bible. And I'm so happy that we have such productions where you can bring it to the people in their own language so that they can hear it, understand it, receive it, and be saved. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm right there with you. That's exciting. Yes. So how do you envision this being received by the slums or the Dalits mm. or the lepers, the, the people that are disenfranchised? How will it be received by them? Or will they even get a chance to see it? They must get a chance. And for that, we need to deliver it to make it possible for them. All have phones. So if it's on their mo mobile phone, if you have a great app, as I as we were discussing, it will be so much wonderful that people sitting at home or even behind the veil or in their rooms, in their small huts or on the roadside, they are seeing uh, the word of God. They watch cricket matches on their phone. Why not the gospel, Josh? So, That's the greatest news. So when we talk about the disenfranchised, or we talk about the lowest of these. Hmm. How many people in India have a phone? Uh, they say um, India has more phones than toilets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. And nearly everyone has a phone. They don't have a home. I've literally seen people on the roadside, on the footpath, with, but with a phone, hearing music and seeing some uh, video clips, but they're sleeping off the road. And that's how it is. And what if we can put the gospel in their hands, which will give them hope and tell them there is someone who loves them and there is hope for them. And that would be the greatest thing, Josh. We really want India to be saved for the Lord. Wow. And, and God wants India to be saved. There's some one wonderful man of God who said, India is the last big mountain to be climbed and claimed for the gospel. Amen. Honestly. It is a big mountain, but not, uh, not, uh, not impossible. With God, all things are possible. If only we believe, Amen. He can do all things. Amen. Yes. We, we want to reach this land for Christ. 
and we believe together, Alfred and I are on the, very much on the same page. We believe that the best way to reach people is where they're at, yeah. in the language they speak, yes. in a medium that they can engage Absolutely. with today. Yes. And there's no better way than to do that through a mobile device yes. in their language. Correct. So we're needing your help. We're in the process of trying to check both of those boxes, the language and getting into a method, a manner that they can receive that language, such as the mobile device. So we need your help. We need help coming up with funds to create an app that will allow all of these languages to live in the app. And we need your help to translate, to cover the cost of translation of this project because it's quite a costly endeavor and it's, it's a huge project for us. And so we need your help to raise about $250,000. 100% of what you send is going to go to help reach the lost of India. It's not coming direct to our corporate expenses, to our overhead. These, these are dollars that are going to go straight to India for translation and for the building of the app and a website. And I want to ask you to help, help with the best gift you can. What are some values uh, of having the app versus traditional means? I, I understand that there's more difficulty here in India today than maybe there was five or 10 or 15 years ago. Yes, you know, Josh, um, doors are closing up. Uh, I don't want to get into a political debate, or, but if things are getting very difficult for Christians. And the only way to take the gospel to the last mile is through media. And uh, one of the best parts of vehicles of media instruments is the mobile phone. And people have it in their hands. And, um, and the best ways to put our programs, our films on the phone, and it's easy to download, easy to view in your own language. And uh, the Indian audience so used to uh, doing that. So, I mean, it will be so, so wonderful if you could have all of that on an app where it's so easy, so much easily accessible, and people can watch it and also share it around so that we are exponential distribution happens and uh, and people are able to hear and see the gospel how you know in other countries mm -hmm. when we've done this project we've provided the the project in their language mm -hmm. in on television we've provided provided in their language on dvds yeah. traditional with, methods traditional methods yeah. on usb you know pen drives yes. um, if you could choose any medium to translate or to, com to communicate the gospel, as far as the, the, the way that we're talking today with God, what would be the medium that you would choose and why? I would choose um, more of the, uh, the mobile uh, medium. Why? Because it could be interactive also. Broadcast is one way and uh, so is radio, so are many other, other ways. But if you can give some interactive form where people can ask questions, can write to you, can be counseled, can be discipled, and they receive the gospel. I think that's the best way. Why not use it as the devil is using it so well? And we have the greatest message to give people where they can be served, saved for eternity. So why not give it to them in their own hands when they have it in their hands? I'm curious. Uh, now, I obviously am asking, but I have a little bit of an idea of the answer. Are you involved in any other media projects that are already doing some of this and that's why you, you've got an educated opinion on it? <laughs> you know, we, um, I host this uh, 700 Club, the India version for CBN and we do a lot of short films and we broadcast in television and people do respond, no doubt about that. We did the My Hope India campaign for Dr. Billy Graham and they had 20 million people responding and there were many people who gave their lives to the Lord also. But uh, nothing like the interactive modern way of receiving and, and writing back to people, when you can't go to a church, you can at least write an SMS or a WhatsApp so that people can come and contact you and you can know more about the Lord Jesus. You can't do it on television. So you're involved, let me just get this straight, make sure the audience caught this. You're involved in helping the Billy Graham crusade throughout yes. India. Yes. You're involved as the host or co-host of the 700 Club for India. Yes. You've been involved in many, many translation projects for many, many other ministries mm -hmm. as somewhat of a go-to person mm -hmm. to help reach this fine country. Yes. So you have a little bit of a background yes. and some authority to speak on yes. the importance of this project. Yes, it's been 30 years in advertising and marketing and uh, <laughs> in media buying. 
So all that experience put together and that great desire. And if God has placed us in media, it's media that will take the gospel to the very end. And where missionaries can't go or enter our country or many countries, media can enter in, the airwaves can enter in, and the gospel can reach the people. Amen. Yes. Amen. I appreciate that. I know that you've been working in Bible translation and, and program translation, media translation, translation work. You've been doing translation work for a very long time, in addition to the marketing and advertising experience, and you've worked with many different ministries. You're obviously the, the host or co-host of the 700 Club here. You're involved in uh, the, the Billy Graham Crusades over the years, and you just have a wealth of knowledge, and I'm sure that you have some experiences mm -hmm. that impact you and propel you forward that as you experience the move of God like you have, mm -hmm. it, it conditions you to continue doing more work because you know the effectiveness of that work. Yes. Do you have any stories, or maybe you could share a testimony or two about the impact that happens when the Word of God gets to people in their mother tongue in a medium that they can engage with? Yes, Josh, I remember, um, I heard this, um, that there was a young man who was blind, absolutely visually impaired, and um, someone gave him an audio Bible. And he had a desire to know who the Lord Jesus is, just like Zacchaeus, who he is. And he kept on hearing the gospel and the Bible and the days went by and he prayed. And God, would you believe it, God opened his eyes. Wow. And people went and checked it out. They said, yes, he was blind, but now he can see. So the word of God is so powerful. Yeah. And let me tell you, George, people are hungry for the word of God. I know they have religion, they have this, they have that, they have all sorts of things. They have a lot, a lot of things happening here, but people are hungry. They're empty from inside. Yeah. I still remember another uh, person who was listening to a radio program that came at midnight, a small little radio program of three minutes called Jeevan Jalak. And this gentleman's child was very sick with high fever. So they were looking after the little child to kill time. He put on the radio and he heard this three minute gospel program. And he said, that's wonderful. He kept on hearing it every night. And one day he gave his life to the Lord Jesus, an illiterate person. He doesn't know how to read or write. He goes to a seekers conference, he accepts the Lord. He comes back, becomes an evangelist, and he has turned a whole village upside down with the gospel. Mm. With one person, just one person, hearing yeah. the word of God. Josh, it's so important to tell people in their own language that God loves them and there's a savior who can save them. Amen. Yes. You know, the word does not return void. Absolutely. And one of the scriptures as we work on the Today with God project that comes up over and over again comes from from Hebrews chapter chapter 4. Yes. The word of God is living and active. Yes. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. sword yes. It penetrates to dividing soul and spirit, right. joints and marrow. Right. It judges the thoughts and attitudes right. of the heart. You see, the Word of God is powerful Absolutely. in and of itself. Absolutely, yes. But if they can't see it, if they can't hear it, yes. if they can't read it, Correct. if nobody gets the Word of God to them right. in the language that they understand, right. Right. then how will they know? Exactly. And the enemy is very happy. He's so happy they're still in darkness. They're still absolutely in sla they're slaves to the wicked one. And he's happy that the gospel never reaches them. But thanks be to God yeah. for His unspeakable gift, which we can share it with people that yeah. can liberate them and set them free. We can. Yes. If we choose to. If you choose to. If but you're obedient to if, the Great Commission. If you're obedient to the Great Commission. But so often I find, and it saddens me, so often I find that Christians, well-meaning people that do love the Lord, oftentimes only find their identity of Christianity as an adjective to their vocation. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian mechanic. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian lawyer. Mm -hmm. Rather than identifying, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm a follower of Christ right. who happens to be a lawyer, or who happens to be a doctor. Right. But my calling, yes. my, my, my number one calling on this earth mm -hmm. is to share the love of Christ with those around Absolutely. me, to expand the kingdom of God. Yes. We are called, we are bought by a great price. We are not our own. We have to share the gospel. Like Hudson Taylor said, it's not an option, it's a command. 
every believer, every Christian who trusts in the Lord, who has been saved for eternity, has to and must share the gospel. And what greater tool than you have a product and we are helping them. We are in the fellowship of the gospel yeah. and to share the gospel with a country that desperately needs the Lord Jesus. You know, we have a, when we created this project, the Today with God project, we, there was very much an intentionality to the philosophical approach mm -hmm. that we don't have to use our doctrine or teach doctrine. Mm -hmm. yes. We don't have to teach any, we don't have to push a denomination. Mm -hmm. We don't, the gospel doesn't need us to mm -hmm. be effective. Yes. The gospel doesn't need us to be living and active. Mm -hmm. The word of God is living and active, yes. independent of us. Yes. We simply can participate right. in allowing that activity right. to be something that we can be a part of, Correct. something bigger than ourselves. Yes, yes. And and so as we work on this project, I, I personally believe that there's great value yes. in the fact that we're not promoting our ministry, yes. we're not trying to raise funds mm -hmm. through this minute, through this project, mm -hmm. while people are questioning whether or not we're just interested in their dollars yes. versus their their heart. We're not trying to promote anything except for the Word of God. Yes. And I think you agree mm. in that efficacy, the mm. importance of that. Right. Um, if, if you could share something direct to our audience. Right. I, I know that you've, you're very passionate about this project. Yes. I know you're very posh, passionate mm. about the stuff that we've been doing together thus right. far and what we'll continue to do. Right. What, what would you say to our audience mm. or how would you encourage our audience for such a time as this? Yes. And you could right to the camera. Uh, brothers and sisters, dear beloved ones, we just want to beseech you, just like the Macedonian call, this is a call from India. Yes, we need your help. And believe me, if you give, it shall be given unto you. Even a glass of water, the Lord said, if you give in my name, I will not forget. And great is your reward in heaven. This journey will end one day. And when we enter the, pearls, the pearly gates, we have the Lord saying, well done good and faithful servant. Yes, friends, give. Give from your heart. Join us. Join us to take the gospel to the many who are waiting to receive the gospel. We want India to be saved. We want them to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Join us. Join us in the fellowship of the gospel. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you. I appreciate all that you're doing. And I want to ask that you'll Consider the very best gift that the Lord will lay on your heart. We need to raise about $250,000. It's a huge number for us. It's one of, if not the largest projects that we've ever endeavored to take upon a, this ministry. But it's worth it. It's worth it because the Lord is coming back. And we want to be participating in His kingdom work 100% of the time. But we need your help. We need capital. That money will go towards providing the languages, the top 11 languages for the Today with God project for the entire book of Matthew, the entire book of Luke, and the entire book of Acts. We've already been able to overcome the first hurdles of providing the Gospel of John and a, a one-hour program that asks and answers the question, who is Jesus? But we need your help. The money will also help to raise, uh, build an app, an app that can be accessible on every single mobile device in the nation of India, which covers almost 99%, more phones than toilets, that's what Alfred said. I believe that this is the time. We can't wait, we can't, every day that goes by that we haven't completed this app, every day that goes by that we haven't built this website mm. that people can come to and experience the Word of God in their tongue at their time, every day that goes by that we allow to slip away without making progress, people are dying. Mm -hmm. Alfred told me just yesterday it was 20,000 people, I think, right? Approximately every day. Dying every day. Knowing the Lord. Every day. Mm -hmm. 20,000 people dying without knowing the Lord. I don't want that on my watch. I don't want to be caught mm -hmm. clinging to my earthly possessions. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask that you'll consider participating with your very best gift that we can spread the gospel through the Today with God project. Give us a call, 1-800-688-3422. You can reach us online and give there at crosstalk.org. You can also give by mail, PO Box 2528, Cedar Hill, Texas, 
75106. Reach out to us online on social media, just any of the handles at Crosstalk TV on any of the any of the platforms. I I hope I hope Alfred that we're going to get more response from this request than any other request we've ever had because Amen. this is one of the most yes. if not the most yes. important things yes. that we've ever done in our yes. life we're going to be laying up treasures in heaven yes. but we're going to be providing tools yes. that will be with the the yes. people of india yes. for the for the next decade or two yes. the gospel is going to go forward yes. because of this work and i thank you thank for your work i thank you for your participation yes. for your partnership yes. and i believe that we're going to have even more testimonies as we go forward we are so grateful Thank you so much for coming to our land and to bring the gospel in this format so that people can hear and receive it and be saved. Thank you so much. Amen. God brother, bless God, God bless, bless. God, God bless, bless. God bless. And until next time, shalom and God bless you.